Hello, everybody. This is Cassandra from Beauty Ecology, and I have Miss. I'm Amy from La Bella Donna. Miss Amy from La Bella Donna. Now, I have to say, I have been doing, um, I've had a salon for probably over 12 years, and I have been with La Bella Donna for 10 of those years. And, you know, I kind of fell upon them back when Bare Minerals was really a big and hot thing. And, you know, once I felt the difference between La Bella Donna and Bare Minerals and a lot of these other lines, um, there was just, a, hey guys, we're on Instagram too. Um, there was a significant difference. And so I'm here with E, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, mineral makeup. What is the difference between different lines of mineral makeup? what you want to look for in a mineral makeup line, and then just a couple hot tips to use for when you're doing your makeup at home that you can, anybody can apply. So, Miss Amy. Yes. So, first, first thing is the loose minerals. So, as we know, 90% of aging on the skin is from the damage. Fact is fact. You know, often when we're kids, um, you know, we don't really protect ourselves. We're from an era that we are not millennials, so we did do all the, the sun tanning. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really critical that women, whenever they walk out of the salon, um, you know, even if they're not a makeup wearer, I throw the minerals on them, and first things first, it feels completely light. It's like light as day. So um, the, the feel of the makeup is really great, and it's, it's often what sells the product. But the first and foremost thing that I tell our clients is it's all about sun care. So if you don't make, wear makeup, throw your minerals on and make sure that you have your coverage during the day so that you're protected. So maybe you can speak into that and how Belladonna is different for that. Um, and the fact that we just have four ingredients is really key. Yes, exactly. Thanks, Cassie, for having me. So, with La Belladonna, they were actually the originator of mineral makeup back 27 years ago. So, I would say imitation is the best form of flattery with other brands. But the thing that's great about La Belladonna, it was four ingredients back then. It is still four ingredients now. And the reason, like you're saying, the feel is um, that you're feeling, see, you feel so light on the skin and maybe other foundations you feel suffocated or you are conscious of having foundation on. These are so, it, the loose minerals are so um, finely pulverized that they uh, lay on the skin like fish gills and they let the skin breathe out, yeah. but they, they don't let anything else into yeah. the skin. Yeah. So that's why everyone feels doesn't even feel like you have foundation, and then the coverage is beautiful. You can wear them as sheer as you want to as full as you want. But La Belladonna's Loose Minerals is the only one on the market that is a non-chemical SPF 50 foundation that is waterproof and sweatproof, which is huge. Huge. And you know, when when one of the explanations, and I've done this on. Um, you know, previous videos is that they micronize it down into a sifted weight. So when I'm formulating skincare, or if I'm formulating, um, you know, anything, I want a really, really low molecular weight. And when you get as low as molecular, then you're getting into a nano size. And here's one of the things that you don't want in your skincare is nano size. I want it in my CBD, but I don't want it in my skincare. So what happens is, correct me if I'm wrong, if, if you have a nano um, sift in a mineral makeup, it leaks into your skin. So then that's when it's getting into your bloodstream. That's when you're losing your makeup throughout the day, and then ultimately you're losing your your protection, really. So right. That's really and I, I hear that as people saying, like, my skin is eating by foundation. Or, you know, when you're not wearing other foundations that they'll put their makeup on at home. Yeah. And then they get to work and they're like, I didn't even do it. It's because your skin is eating away at it too. Yeah. Um, but with the mineral make it, it lasts all day. Okay. Um, with this SPF factor, you don't have to reapply. Yep. It's huge. Yep. Um, and that you can get sheer coverage, medium coverage, full coverage. All in one product is amazing. You just change your brush. Yeah. So to that point, you can wet your brush, put it on as a... Um, concealer, and then you can just like if you're on a quick and you've got to go from office to transition, put on its concealer, and then throw your powders over it. Gives you a really luminescent look, so it pushes light away. 
It's great for HD. It's great for photography. It pushes light out. And that brings up a great subject, which is mineral makeup and aging skin. So a lot of reasons why women are afraid of using dual purpose makeup and should I use a powder and also a liquid because then they feel like they get really heavy and it seeps into wrinkles. And the belladonna does not do that for a couple of reasons. Again, it's molecular weight, there's four ingredients, and it doesn't have fillers. Correct. Correct. Um, you know, the difference if you're using other mineral products, look at the ingredients and see how many are in there and see what ingredients are in there because you may be surprised. But Maybe pain for corn starch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think you know that's really really key. Are there any other like key tips um, that you know or fun tips that you could help women just maybe they didn't realize or how they could apply their makeup differently or better? So um, the way you would do your mineral makeup because it does have the SPF 50 in it, you want to put that protection everywhere. So when you're putting it on, you do your forehead normal. Um, important tip is on the um, cheeks to do go downward so the hairs on the face lay down. Make sure you can do your eyes. You have SPF yeah. 50 protection. I know that you guys vote around here in Minnesota. So do that and then your ears um, too. Neck, decollete, and hands is the ideal too to have that. And it's waterproof. Yeah. So it's waterproof. So even in the summer, you just press it and re-bloom it. Or, you know, if you're washing hands, you're still going to have that sun protection. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. You could do it wet if you want more coverage or do it dry, mm -hmm. too. So, we really think about the belladonna is, is it's your makeup, but it's your skincare as well. Um, you know, I have a lot of clients that use the um, mascara mm -hmm. and it conditions the eye. And they find that their lashes actually start to heal and, and get fuller and come back. Because, you know, when you're shopping a lot of mascaras, they have plasticizers in them. Um, they just have that really, really kind of harsh chemical. Um, and, you know, a lot of the time, too, when you're, when you're thinking about makeup and if it has fragrance in it, if your makeup has fragrance in it, or even if your hair care has fragrance in it, or synthetics, both things. So fragrance is going to have, it's about an 80% alcohol. And then if you're using um, synthetics, in your makeup what happens with synthetics guys is that it dries out the skin you know you're, you're not feeding the skin and nourishing the skin or just hovering over the skin you're actually then taking the moisture content out of the skin and the number one barrier on the skin is our natural moisturizing factor which is your nmf that's made of ceramides cholesterol and fatty acids and dead skin cells and so you just want to protect it so that things don't get in. But if you're putting things on there that are combined with chemicals that are, like again, nano size and small, that's when they get into the skin and they actually need you over time. So you wanna wear minerals like La Belladonna that four ingredients, gives you all your SPF, it's really, really, really light on the skin, doesn't seep into wrinkles and defies aging while you're wearing it. So mm -hmm. that's a big thing. Oh, definitely. So. Mm -hmm. And it's not a powder. So for those of you that are dry like me, um, I will stay away from a powder. This is not a powder. It's minerals. It's four ingredients. They're all raw. Oh, and other neat thing, it's an SPF 50 that does not expire. Ah, because there's you know nothing in it. But I think that is huge. Because right. how often have you thrown away sunscreens Goes right after right. a year? Which mm -hmm. is key. Yes. yes. Throw away old sunscreen. For sure. Yes. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. So remember when you're wearing it, you're going to do your full face. Um, she's doing really great tips today for our makeovers today. We have for all of our ladies to remember the ears, the decollete, and then the hands. You know, so those are all really great tips. Yes. Is there anything else that you want to share? Um, there's more with Labella Donut too, just so you know that it's a full makeup line mm -hmm. as well too. And then there are great colors that we can match anyone. So. Yeah. Love okay. it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. having me. It's been a fun <laughs> makeover sesh. So Amy comes in. Um, I always say we fly in our makeup artist, but she drives. I'm a road warrior. She's a road warrior. <laughs> um, twice a year. So we did full makeovers today. If you want to be a part of our group next time, come by. It'd be great. But um, sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. I love it. It's all about, you know, we spent all this money on trying to repair but it's really basic everyday things that we can do to keep our skin healthy. Um, you know, so that's key. Yep, and sure the Belladonna delivers. So 
Thank you for going live with us and have a good night.